What up? This is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of Netflix new documentary feature, Pele. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, and ring that bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you would like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this. To those of us soccer fans, the name Pele is no stranger. It is a name that's more popular than all of Hollywood stars combined. Because outside of the United States, soccer or football, I should say, is like a second religion. And Pele is its patron saint, enshrined at the pantheon of all-time greats. But of all the docus that had been made over the years about Pele, is this latest one the most comprehensive yet? I would say so. Directed by David Trihorn and Ben Nicholas and executive produced by Kevin MacDonald, the film charts Pele's remarkable journey to becoming the king of football and leading his nation's team to their historic win at the 1970 World Cup. With rare and exclusive access to Pele himself, the film emotionally showcases the star reflecting upon his impressive career. The documentary also looks back at the tumultuous period when Pele, the only player to win three World Cup titles, went from a young superstar to a national hero amidst a radical and turbulent era in Brazilian history. Featuring rare archive and interviews from former legendary teammates at Santos Football Club and the Brazilian national team, as well as extraordinary testimonials from family members, journalists, artists, and other personalities who witnessed the golden age of Brazilian football. So what you'll see in this docu is today, present day Pelé, recollecting and reflecting on his upbringing and the period of time from when he won his first World Cup all the way to his third and final World Cup win. Present-day Pelé, though now in a wheelchair, is still in good spirit and full of smiles, but as he goes down memory lane on some of the decisions that he made in the past, I don't know if you can categorize it as regret, but his face speaks of a man wondering if he could have done things differently. On the upside, this docu is the reunion of Pele and his soccer teammates, many of whom are surprisingly still alive. So the telling of Pele's story here doesn't just come from his siblings, or some sports pundits, but it also comes from the mouths of the very people who shared his jersey and were on the same field with him during those losses and victories, which makes this docu all the more intimate and personal and heartwarming. The filmmakers did not shy away from connecting Pele's influence and fame with Brazil's fall to dictatorship. I think this is the side of Pele that many of us had not analyzed before, and the docu covers it not in a way that judges Pele, but more like Pele is caught between a rock and a hard place. He's stuck in a tough spot. Damn if he speaks up, damn if he doesn't. But ultimately, Brazilians' love and admiration for Pele, the soccer legend, outweighs their criticism of his political neutrality. Overall, this docu is very detailed and compelling. You get to learn a thing or two about Brazil's history in the process. It doesn't dwell on just one aspect of Pele's life for too long. Yes, it shows the imperfect human Pele. It even shows the conflicts that he had with some of the people around him. But at the same time, it always, always comes back to making it be about the sport and how he is the symbol that uplifts his entire nation, whether he plans it or not. 